What's good, everyone? Hopefully, y'all doing well. I've been having a good day. If that it's been a good week. If not, keep your head up, stay grinding, stay focused, keep positive, all right? Enjoy the weekend. If not, keep on grinding, brothers and sisters. You know what I mean? So here we are with another video. And being it being that the fact that it's Hispanic uh heritage month, right? And for those of you that don't know, because I didn't know about this sort of story, and it got me by surprise. So right now, let's check it out together and give me your input of what you guys think about this, all right? Because it got me out of surprise. Let's check this out. I want to be an astronaut. <laughs> oh. Well, from migrant worker to NASA astronaut, the new movie, A Million Miles Away, tells the remarkable story of how Jose Hernandez went from the fields of California to mission specialist on the space shuttle Discovery. California. Yes, His amazing journey included 11 rejections from NASA's space program, but on the 12th try, he got in and began living his lifelong dream. A real-life true story and the Never inspiration stopped. behind it all. Jose joins us now. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I'm so. very happy to be here. So there's a line in this movie that really sums up your journey. It's a who movie. better to leave this planet and dive into the unknown than a migrant farm worker. You were born in Mexico. When did you start dreaming that you wanted to go to space? Yeah, no? Well, uh, ever since I was 10 years old, I watched the very last Apollo mission, Apollo 17 on a black and white TV with rabbit ear antennas. And when right. I saw astronaut Gene Cernan walk on the moon, I said, that's what I want to be. I want to be an astronaut. You know, it's so hard to verbalize your dreams, especially when they're as lofty as that. That clip yeah. we played from the movie was right. you saying it and, so, you know, a close loved one clearly laughing, laughing in your yeah. face. The, the persistence, you were rejected 11 times by NASA, then made it in on the 12th try. Mean? How were you able to keep your eyes on the prize and look. not get demoralized? I'm trying, right? right? Well, you know, it's what I always tell everybody during my uh, motivational talks is you have to enjoy the journey to your destination. And uh, and the fact that right I on. want to be an astronaut motivated me to go to college, graduate school, work in a that, premier man. research facility. And so I was yeah, enjoying what I was doing. So the consolation prize wasn't too bad. Mm. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, you had a dream, you held on to your dream, it, you protected it. Um, and, and another and factor it. that could have turned you away from your dreams was the Columbia shuttle tragedy uh, in which you say that you lost friends. Yes, I did. I, I, I lost my uh, my mentor, Calpana, and, uh, and it, you know, it was a tragic event. Rest and that just demonstrates that uh, space travel People is not trivial. It still has stuff. its dangers, and, uh, and uh, we hope that, you know, the commercial entities uh, take note and, and be as safe as possible because it is dangerous going up into space. So what was it like that moment you finally made it into outer space after your journey? It must have been incredible, probably difficult to put into words. It, uh, you know, words don't do it justice, but I always try. I said, just imagine uh, when we reach space and now I'm ready to take off my seatbelt, I start floating, defying the laws of gravity as we know them down here on Earth, and you feel like a superhero. And then you push yourself and you do your best Superman impersonation to go to the <laughs> window, and, uh, and, and you see the world from a perspective. A little over 500 people have had that privilege to do so, and you say, my gosh. Was it worth yeah. it? It sure was. It's it was, man. Amazing. Uh, you know, finally, I guess, what do you want people to take like away from your story when they watch this movie? What? Well, I think what I want them to take away is my father's recipe. When I first told him I wanted to be an astronaut as a 10-year-old, uh, you know, my father was a migrant farm worker with only a third grade education, but he gave me five points. He said, here's a recipe. He says, define your purpose in life. Recognize how far you are from it. Draw yourself a roadmap. Prepare yourself according to the challenge and develop a work ethic second to none. And then I add perseverance because if you don't give up, I'll make you the same promise my dad made me that you too can reach for your own stars. Wow. Incredible. Yes, yeah, really, brother. So inspiring. Yes, really. It's a great man. story. We're happy uh, you're sharing it on the big screen. And for I don't know about time for us yes. here on Fox 5 this afternoon. Thanks so much, Jose Thank Hernandez. You. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right. Very well. I see, but um, it's a movie, like you're saying, you know what I mean? And to be honest, I am going to check it out because also that actor, um, 
you know, he he's a good actor too. So because of that and the story behind it too, just in general, I like to hear that and uh, imagine that sort of stories. It, some more Hispanic people like that, Mexican, whatever you, uh, whatever, but just from down south, you know, like we've we've been in behind so many things throughout so many years through certain history, through certain fields. I'm pretty sure, in certain fields, certain like sports, certain things involved with music. We, for some odd reason, we've never been acknowledged in certain ways at certain levels. But now it's starting to come in around, especially because of YouTube and everything, and certain stories like this. You know, but now that it's a story out there, and I, like I say, I never heard about this first time you're hearing this, but I am going to check out that movie. What do people think? But still, at the end of the day, no matter what your dream is, it could be like that, becoming an astronaut, you know, anything. Just as so long as it's something that, you know, could benefit you, there's something that you love to do in your family that can help them. And, you know what I mean, to help you grow in something that you love to do, something you have passion for, right? Well, much love. Have a good weekend and to the next one. All right. Peace.